Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today's video is on their unfiltered opinions on new makeup releases. I hear the echo. I apologize about the audio. I had to figure out this whole room situation and how to fix that, but I will. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into some unfiltered opinions, talk about some new things coming out and what I think. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. I feel weird hearing the echo. I'm so sorry. Okay, so firstly is from LA Splash. I don't know if I've ever tried anything from LA Splash. I don't know, but they have beautiful palettes. They have great gas. We have it looks so stunning. This is the Hunger Games collection. So this is weird. There's like like a capital and then like the regular, what do you call those things? Like the the, the sectors, you know what I mean? Um, there's two collections. So this is late to the game because the Hunger Games has been over for a couple of years now. And I like the bronzy-ish kind of palette. I want to try their lashes really, really bad, but there's nothing in here that I absolutely need and I feel like it's a little late. So there's nothing in here that really calls me, but I do think for a fan of the series, like a big fan, this is perfect. It's nothing like super revolutionary, but it's cute for collector's purposes. Next up is from Milk Makeup. This is a new Milk Makeup CBD and Arnesia, Arnicia, Arnesia, solid body oil. So it's like a stick you can roll on your body. It says it dries down. It's a dry body oil stick. Um, to soothe and comfort skin. So make sure your skin's irritated, this is good for you. But it's $50 for this little body oil stick. It's very expensive. If it was $25, I think it'd be like, okay, cool. But it's $50. It comes out May 19th on Sephora if you want it, but I think a lotion or for different oil would work just fine for a different price. Although I do like the idea of like a stick. That sounds fun. Okay, next up, I've never heard of this brand before. It's called chance K kyle kale um i don't know but it is a pre-order so maybe this brand is new oh oh i was looking at the packaging i was like this looks really cute with like the the whole sea ocean theme i really like that especially the stinger i think the packaging is cute and these little duos of highlighters and blushes look really really pretty sick lipsticks meh but these little highlighter cheek duos are 84 dollars each um, no, but it's cute looking. It's supposed to be like some kind of revolutionary, cheeky amazingness, probably, but I'm not gonna, no, mm -mm. Ew. So this next thing is from Huda Beauty. <laughs> it is diamond hydrating lip balms. Diamond like sparkle lip balms, $25 each. It's weird, like it looks very pretty in the packaging, but when you see it on the lips, it doesn't look like anything. It looks like a little bit of shiny balm on the lips, but it looks like glittery weirdiness. So I don't understand this at all. It looks like it'd be gritty. Like I'm not saying it is gritty because I don't know, but it looks like it'd be gritty, like a elf lip exfoliator is what it looks like. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. So this next thing is from NYX. It's the Bear With Me collection. It's been around for a while, but this is a new Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Jelly Cheek Color. They're $10 each, so it's a good price. And a Jelly Cheek product does seem kind of fun to just tap into the skin, but the colors are odd. There's no like blushy pink. There's no um, kind of mauve pink. It's just straight up like a purple dusty pinks, bright salmon-y colors and deeper, more orangey tones. So it's a very weird selection of colors. And um, I don't know if I'd rather use, I mean, it's so using with the brush in these pictures, but I think I'd probably use my finger for it, but it's just not my kind of product. I would like to get into more creamy jelly products and stuff, because people look amazing when they have cream products in their skin, but I'm just a powder person, is what it is. Okay, so a couple of you guys tagged me in this. It is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills not really on Saucy Royal Hills, it's the Norvina collection. It's personally, it's supposed to be like a side brand, but they don't have their own social media for this Norvina collection side brand. So it's still on Saucy Beverly Hills, I guess. And this is the new Norvina Electric Cake Liners. Now it's kind of like a hydro liner from like Suva. It's a water activated eyeliner. You can use, I usually use like an eye drop, like a eye drop solution to start it because who has water nearby them all the time i know the comments are gonna say i do but <laughs> um 
These are great for like winged eyeliners, really graphic eyeliners, really graphic eye looks for body paint. It's just great for those kind of things, but they're really small for body paint, so I'll just keep it to the face. They're $30 each, which is expensive, but if you get the white one's worth it, I think that would be the one I would pick up, um, if any of them. This is available May 11th at Sephora. Oh, they're trios. You get three for 30 Okay, I could see that. That price is not, doesn't seem terrible to me. I thought it was 30 each. I'm like, mm, I would only want the white one. But it comes with orange, white, and purple, and then red, like a yellowy limey kind of color and then a green so these cute these are kind of cute for the price i think if you're actually doing like really graphic stuff and really bright stuff not mad at that price at all all right this product is not cruelty free we're gonna talk about it okay so it is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation this has been around for ever okay but now it comes in a bag and do not get me wrong, I really, really, really wish a lot of foundations came in bag form. I feel like it's great for the environment. It takes up less space. You can get every single drop out, and that's really why I want it, because you can get every single drop out of the foundation. But these are available on Amazon. They're a bag pouch. Like, they're like, oh my gosh, you could use this on the go, or you could refill your old glass bottle. That's a weird marketing scheme. Just say now you're gonna start doing all of them in this pouch. I feel like you should just switch to the pouch if you're gonna do it. Why have this other alternative only available on Amazon for a foundation that's our, a drugstore foundation? If it's a high-end foundation, I wouldn't mind ordering it online as much as I would a drugstore foundation. Just switch the whole line to these bags if you wanna do it in the bag. It's just kind of weird. But I do wish, like, so my favorite foundations came in bag form because I can get every little drop out of it. I'm looking at you, Beauty Blender Balance Foundation, that nice, cool, unique packaging, but it eats all of my foundation and it's made of glass and I can't break it. So certain foundations I wish came in bag form because I want to get all of it out. I don't know what's going on with NYX the past couple years, you guys. I used to really like NYX products, probably because it's what I could afford, but uh... NYX is confusing me. So this is a NYX, their lip products. So these are a Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Color. First of all, Filler Instinct is not really a very good name. I know it's like Killer Instinct, Fillers, Plumping, Filler. I don't really like the way it sounds, Filler Instinct. I just don't like the way it sounds. And another thing, a plumping lip color. And they come in dark colors and like hot, hot colors. They don't come in like, a, there's only one that's a nude color. But they're like semi-sheer. So they're going to give you a tint of something really dark or a tint of something really vibrant, but not full coverage with it. It's weird. They're $8 each. It's a vegan formula, which I do appreciate. However, a plumping lip color is bizarre. And I feel like just from the pictures they show, it looks like it's going to be very greasy on the lips. So, not a fan of that whatsoever. Don't know what NYX is doing. NYX, please get it together a little bit. I'd appreciate it. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I know it's kind of a shorter one, but there hasn't been too many things coming out lately that I'm really excited about. And I feel really weird about this echo situation. Hopefully, I can fix it soon. I know if I get like a rug in this room, it would help. If I put like sound foam things on the wall, it would help, like absorbers. But I don't really know how to do that, and those look really ugly. So maybe just the rug will help. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to fill this room up so it doesn't sound as bad, but it's going to take me a minute to get together. So I'm sorry about that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, editing Bridget here with an echo and no makeup, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for putting up with me during like a couple days break where I could not film or edit or post anything. It was very frustrating and I also would love love video ideas because my creativity is a little bit spent at the moment just because well i mean <laughs> everything's a mess still and i still have boxes everywhere but i would love some suggestions on videos you guys would like to see like any types of certain favorites you want to see um i don't really want to do my makeup on camera yet like a get ready with me video until i get the lighting situation correct but i would definitely appreciate any suggestions as far as videos, I love doing favorites videos, any like commentary you want me to do, anything like that, I would love to do it for you and I would love to know what you guys want to see or tags or stuff, you know? 
you guys are the best of video ideas and I would appreciate it greatly. All right, bye guys. Have a great night or day wherever you are. I said night because it's nighttime.